I got a very, very special word this week. I can't wait to share it with you. I hope you get excited about these words because every time they prepare for you, I end up getting blessed. Did you know that? It's amazing. Matthew chapter 14, verse number 30, and it says this, but when he, when he, Peter, saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. Beginning to sink, he cried saying, Lord, save me. Familiar story to church people, believers, Christians, and that is that Peter was walking on the water as long as he kept his eyes on the Lord. But then when he took his eyes off the Lord and began to look at the waves, he began to sink. Well, you know, what we never hear about is how did Peter get his eyes back on the Lord? We all get our eyes off the Lord, every one of us. At moments, we're overtaken by a situation, you know, and, and we, we deal with fear, or we deal with anger, or we deal with jealousy. We, we deal with that. All of us do. But the question is, how did Peter get his eyes back on the Lord? He's looking at the Lord. He looks at the wind. But evidently, he got his eyes back on the Lord because the Lord heard him and pulled him up, and they walked back on the water together. How did he get his eyes back on track? How did he get reconnected to water walking faith? How did he do that? He used his mouth. He called out for help. It's that simple. Your mouth is, is a distress signal to heaven's high courts. You know, it's not about, you know, how old you are, what gender you are, what kind of personality you have. It's about using your mouth to call on the God of your salvation. He is the God of your past, your present, and your future. And He wants to hear you with emotion call on Him in the time of distress. Especially whenever you realize, I've gotten my eyes off the Lord. Well, how do you know you've gotten your eyes off the Lord? You're negative, you're fearful, you're angry. When your eyes are on the Lord, that doesn't happen. That does not take place. So again, you're, it's going to happen. You're going you're to look left and right. Not supposed to, but you're going to. Why? Because we're being perfected. There's no condemnation to them during Christ Jesus. So when that happens and you, can't, and you feel yourself in a free fall, you feel yourself, what's wrong? Get your eyes back on. How do you do that? 101, Christianity. Jesus, help me. I call on you. Lord, save me. I can't handle this. It's too big for me. And the moment you begin to send that distress signal, I promise you, he's going to come quickly. What happened? He reached down and picked him up out of that salt water. I mean, he was taking salt water and picked him up out of that salt water, set him back up on that sea, back standing on the water, and they walked together back to the boat. I'm telling you, this time, this week, I want you to do this. Call on him. If you sense you're in a free fall and you don't know what's wrong, you could maybe have gotten your eyes or your focus off of that precious, precious person of Jesus Christ. Get back on track. Call on him right now. Right now, Father, let your people have the grace. Give them the undergirding power. Oh, that, that percolation from within, that, that the springing up, oh well, that they would call on you in this moment and that you would visit them and get us reconnected to water-walking faith. In Jesus' name, that's your word for the week.